T-minus 2 minutes, 20 seconds, and counting. All is ready to fly today on NASA's 4.5 million pounds space shuttle vehicle. Flashing one is complete. Thank you. Orbiter test conductor has requested that Andy Allen clear the caution and warning memory system, and that has been, been reported complete. Flight crew, close and lock your visors, initiate O2 flow, and have a... T-minus 2 minutes and counting. Roger, that's going to work, and thank you. Okay, let's go for ETLH2 pressurization. Everything continues to look good for launch this morning. In about 90 seconds, the Space Shuttle Columbia will begin its 14-day extended duration orbiter flight, one of the longest in Space Shuttle history. One minute 30. T-minus one minute and counting. T-minus 50 seconds, and we're transferring to orbital internal power at this time. Columbia is now running off its three onboard fuel cells. And we have a go for auto sequence start. Columbia's onboard computers have primary control of all the vehicle's critical functions. T minus 20. 15. 11. 10. 9. 8. 7. We have a go for main engine start. 4. 3. 2. 1 and lift off, lift off of the Space Shuttle Columbia as NASA continues on the cutting edge of microgravity research. Houston's now controlling. Hold on, Houston. Roger roll, Columbia. Mission Control sees a good roll maneuver, placing Columbia on the proper heading. Three good engines at 104%. Engines are throttling back now, easing the buildup of aerodynamic loads as Columbia continues to accelerate rapidly through the dense lower altitudes. Three engines now at 67%. Columbia is traveling over 500 miles an hour at 52 seconds. All systems are performing well. Columbia, go at throttle up. Roger, go at throttle up. All three engines are now running at full throttle. All systems are performing well. Altitude is now 59,000 feet, downrange distance 7 nautical miles. Columbia is traveling over 1,000 miles per hour at 1 minute 29 seconds. Columbia continues to climb at a relatively steep angle at this point, relying heavily on the solid rocket boosters to triple its rate of speed over the next 60 seconds. Delivering a combined 6.5 million pounds of thrust, the boosters will burn out and separate at 2 minutes 6 seconds. Time now 1 minute 48 seconds. All systems are performing well. Altitude 116,000 feet, downrange distance 18 nautical miles. Mission Control sees a good booster separation. Columbia is now flying free, powered by its own main engines. Second stage guidance is now in control. Altitude 184,000 feet. Columbia, performance nominal. Performance nominal. 
That's an indication that the boosters have done their job as designed in the main engines as well. Altitude is now 198,000 feet, downrange distance 44 nautical miles. Columbia is now traveling over 3,000 miles per hour.